Because it is a must. Ukraine has been playing a long game in the Black Sea. Recent special ops and precision strikes targeted Russian S-400 air defense systems, as well as associated coastal radar complexes in occupied Crimea. These ops seriously degraded Russian sensor coverage of the Black Sea. This series of operations culminated with the Ukrainian late August missions to recapture the Petrohodovales and Ukraina offshore platforms. Illegally seized by Russia in 2015, these rigs were being used by Russia as surveillance outposts. Ukrainian naval special warfare operators were able to neutralize these radars, as well as capture a pair of Russian R-330M-1P Diabazol electronic warfare systems deployed to the platforms. With Russian radars, air defenses, and electronic warfare systems seriously degraded, the Western Black Sea has been made into a non-permissive environment for Russian surface warfare. The Ukrainian Defense Forces continue to conduct offensive operations in the Melitopol sector and offensive assault operations in the Bakhmut sector, destroying the enemy and liberating the occupied territories step by step. As a result of the assault operations, the Defense Forces have partial success in the areas of Klishchivka, Donetsk region, and Robotine in Zaporizhia region, pushing the enemy out of their positions and consolidating their positions, the Ukrainian report said. The Ukrainian forces inside Klishchivka, a settlement where thousands of Wagner forces lost their lives or got wounded, and now only their flag remains and is being taken down. Ukrainian 63rd Mechanized Brigade together with 45th Artillery Brigade destroys Russian artillery system and ammunition for it. Ukrainian military journalist Butasov showed how the most technological Russian T-90M breakthrough tank, which was captured by the Ukrainian military of the Skala assault battalion, was evacuated to the rear. According to him, the Russian tank may have been shot down by Ukrainian operators of the American Bradley BMP or by conventional ATGM. The missile hit a vulnerable spot in the tank's turret, burned a hole in the armor, and the Russian commander died. But there was no fire and the tank did not fail and remained practically intact and repairable. Former U.S. President George W. Bush was surprised to learn that he was served dinner with Putin years ago by Yevgeny Prigozhin, the Washington Post reports. During the conference, Bush was asked if he was shocked to learn of Prigozhin's recent death in a plane crash. No, Bush replied. What shocks me is that I recently saw a picture of the G8 summit in St. Petersburg where he was the guy who served me food. He was Putin's chef. The 43rd U.S. president added that he did not remember the details of the meeting with Prigozhin, but joked, all I know is that I survived. Putin avoided answering about the second wave of mobilization. Coughing and nervously wringing his hands, he only said that 270,000 volunteers had now been recruited, in addition to the 300,000 recruited through partial mobilization. <coughs> However, why in this case he never signed a decree to complete the mobilization, Putin did not clarify. Meanwhile, according to sources of the Cheka OGPU, serious measures for the second wave of mobilization have already begun in Russia because the quarter of a million fighters recruited under contract since January is not enough even for the planned rotation, not to mention a small but politically crushing victory at the front. As stated, at the first stage, they plan to mobilize 170, 175,000 people, and the start date of the autumn conscription will be shifted to November 1st. How digital mobilization works will become clear in the coming weeks, if not days. According to plans, the new combined mobilization in the fall will provide about 300,000 more soldiers. The same number was taken in September-October 2022.
There was not a single comment about the way he earned, earned money for that car. Dad killed people there. So it's fine by everyone that Daddy's a murderer now. A Russian woman is outraged that most of her fellow citizens consider it fine for their fathers to return from war with cars they earned by killing people. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.